Well, good morning, everyone. Well, actually, it's the afternoon now. And uh, I've been thinking about some of the things as I've been packing food and looking at dates and all that kind of stuff. I've been thinking about the line, what's in your cupboard? And I actually saw someone on Facebook this week asking the question to someone else, what's in your cupboard today? And I began thinking about, well, is there rice? Is there beans? Is there soup? Is there quinoa? Is there potatoes and carrots? Is there milk? And uh, everybody, if we were all to look into our cupboards at this moment, we would discover things that were um, probably outdated, uh, probably that we, thought, that we bought, that we thought we might use. And one of the things I discovered was that these ladies were, all of a sudden, as a result of COVID-19, were looking into their cupboards and making things with the ingredients that were in the back of their cupboards instead of going to the grocery store and only going to the grocery store once a week. And so um, as I thought about that, I was reminded of the story in scripture of Elisha, Elisha and the widow's oil. And the, the prophet had died and left debts, debts that his widow and two sons could not pay. And the creditor decided to take the two sons as slaves in payment of the debt. And when the women, widow begged for Elisha's help, the Lord miraculously provided them with enough oil to sell and pay off the debt. And so the story is about the prophet Elijah was taken to heaven, and, and as Elisha became the chief prophet, and he faithfully continued to do the work of the Lord uh, in these days. He traveled throughout it on his own, throughout the countryside. He probably even was sitting on a donkey and being led by a servant. Who knows? But he became known in scripture for his miracles. And so this space for grace today is coming from the circumstances that surround in this scripture passage. This poor widow approached this prophet and it's been thought by some that she was the widow of Obadiah, whether that's pronounced right or not, I don't know, one of the sons of the prophet. And um, this poor widow was unable to pay her debts she had only a small amount of oil in her home, nothing else of value, and it was the common practice of the time for her two sons were going to have to work for the lender until the money was paid back. And in this case, he was going to exact a more harsh payment. They were to become his slaves. And so God's servant told the woman to borrow all the empty jars from her neighbors that she could possibly get, close her doors, and begin pouring the oil from her jar into the borrowed jars. And as she obeyed, the widow saw that God provided enough oil to fill all the jars. And so today, I, might, I ask you again the question, what's in your cupboard? Are we seeing it throughout these days that the things that are in our cupboard are being stretched a little further? Uh, that we're relying on the support of our neighbors and friends to help in the miracle of community and being together and having the things that we need not the things that we want, because there's lots that we want, but what do we truly need? And then we can look at it spiritually from, from a point of grace in that what's in our cupboard spiritually? What right now are we holding in our hearts that have an effect on, on our everyday lives? Are we holding on to anxiousness? Are we holding on to bitterness? Are we holding on to the grief process that just seems to continue and continue and continue? Because what we find here is that every day is different. Every day, where even this morning, we, we change the way in which we serve in order to make it more efficient for everyone concerned. And so as we do that, we're, um, I ask myself, what's in my cover? What's it, what am I keeping in my heart right now? Am I hoarding things for a later day? Or am I continuously giving over those extra feelings and that extra anxiousness? Uh, that I, I have and giving them over to the Lord so that they can be turned, that my fear can be turned into faith and so that then I can pour that out into the jars and the lives of others. And so today in this space for grace, I come to you and ask you, what's in your cupboard? What can you pour out and give to others? And what can you allow the Holy Spirit to come into your heart so that you can pour out and give to others? I believe, and I've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, that we will have an abundance 
God provides in the ways that we would never ever dream possible. And so my friends today, as we look into our cupboards, dream big and God will surprise you. May God bless you today.